Hey everyone, welcome to Trackham KY. Today starts the segment. Today on my Mossberg Maverick Security uh, 88 or Mossberg Maverick 88 Security. Let's get it right. And it's got an 18 and a half inch barrel. I'm doing a, a new paint job on it. I'm using uh, Brown Ales, uh, Parkinson Gray. And I've got everything new to go back on that gun. All new parts, uh, all new furniture and everything. And we're going to be going step by step through it. But today we're going to be painting it and curing it. I'm going to be baking it in the oven. And I'm going to take you through the steps how I paint guns. And bring you guys along with me. This is nothing but a uh, fish stringer right here. A little cheap 60 cent fishing stringer. I got three of them. That's what I'll be using to tie my parts to uh, when painting. Right over here, I got the old trusty heat gun ready for helping it flash dry. And it's kind of windy, but that's supposed to be passing through. We're supposed to be having a sunny day today. Okay, guys, this is everything that I need to start prepping it with. I've just got a little cheap baking pan. Your nail polish remover was like 65 cents a bottle. I got two of those. Didn't need to get a whole big giant thing because I'm just doing one gun. I got some brake cleaner right here, and it is non-chlorinated. This will not leave a residue. Uh, Heavy-duty pads here, the green ones, to help scrub it down. I've got some brushes, Q-tips, a little thin piece of sandpaper here, 400 uh, grit, and just in case, but I don't think I'll be needing it. Gloves, of course you'll need gloves to wear. Uh, to tape up uh, the gum when I get ready to paint it. I got some extra uh, spray tips if I need them. Here's the paint that I'll be using. And I've already got the gun right here broke down. It's already broke apart. Uh, that way, uh, if you need to see a video on how to take a gun apart, there's a thousand of them out there. And right over here, this is some baby washcloths and stuff. This is lint free. So you don't have to worry about getting nothing on your gun if you want to dry it off. And I've got some old cheap earplugs here. I'll show you what I'll be doing with them in a little bit. Okay guys, first thing you want to do is take a heat gun and heat the parts up a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just heat it up some, let the oil get out of the pores of the metal somewhat, and then uh, give it a cleaning. All I do is just get the heat gun going. And just go over the part. So it gets warm. You don't have to get it red hot. Now since I've got that warmed up, I'm just going to take the uh, brake cleaner, picked it up at Walmart. Just give it a couple of good sprays on it. And that will flash off really fast, the brake cleaner will. I'll go ahead and take my scotch pad and just pour it on it here. Just soak it down real good with it. Soak the pad down with it. Then just start cleaning it. Just give it a good scrub down. It's really simple painting a gun. The hardest part is really taking the patience and taking the time and cleaning the gun really well. You want to get a good cleaning on it. You don't want to high front do this part right here if you want to say, because if you do, your paint won't come out right. And then I'm just going to step off to the side right here of the porch, and then I'm just going to give it another spraying with the brake cleaner. And then wipe it down one more time with acetone, let it flash dry, and this part of it's done. Then we'll move on to the barrel and stuff. Okay guys, I got okay. I got this part done. You can see where I really roughed it up. It's really dull now. This is ready to be painted now. So we'll lay it to the side. First we'll just spray it down with some um, Some brake cleaner and we'll let that flash dry
You can see the crap that's coming off of it there. It's getting that dull finish. Now I'm going to hit it with a brake cleaner again. Then I'm going to do the acetone again. Wipe it off, lay it to the side. Okay, as you can see, that's really good and clean there now. It's really scuffed up good. The paint should really connect good with this right here. So we'll just lay it to the side. We'll uh, repeat the process with the barrel right here. The little 18 half inch barrel. And then we'll be ready to paint. Okay, guys. After we got done here, you can see the parts. They're hanging down through here. As you can see, I took some old ear plugs and put in it in the hose to stop them up to keep paint from getting back in there. And I taped everything up. Everything's good and ready to go. I've got the paint soaking in some warm water. Okay, guys, we're ready to start painting. And you got to shake the crap out of this stuff right here. light coats because you can build it as you go so you don't need to overdo it on the first coat Now we're going to take the heat gun and just flash dry it. It really don't need much because it's hot out today. It's probably about 94, 95 degrees. Okay, we're ready to apply the second coat on it now. Well, guys, one thing to remember, if you're going to be using, like, Brownells paint or anything, pick up some of these little spray nozzles right here. These little spray tips. They're, like, $3.99. You get, like, 12 of them. It's well worth it. Uh, side note, get you some of these tips here, and uh, it'll save you a lot of time and headache. Well, everything's cured up. Everything looks good. I've left it hanging out here for probably about an hour and a half in the sun and now I'm going to take it in and put a bacon on it okay guys you can see I've got the uh, parts hanging oven and all I used was some uh, I used some uh, old clothes hangers just made hooks out of them and I'm going to bake it the first hour at 250 and then I'm going to up it to 300 for like 30 minutes and that shall do it. So let's get curing. Well guys, I uh, just got done taking me a shower and stuff. It was extremely hot out there today and excellent painting weather if I must say uh, for the uh, Brownells Park Horizon. Hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Uh, gray because as soon as I'd spray it on in that heat... 
Uh, really, I didn't even need to use a heat gun because by the time I got done spraying all three parts, it was done flash dry and it was ready for a second coat. I put four coats on it. I put it in the oven. After that was over, I shut the oven off and walked away. I left it in there for about three hours, let it cool down, and then I opened the oven door and then let it go to room temperature cooling. I didn't preheat the oven before I put it in there because I wanted to make sure I could get the parts hung separately and didn't want to have to deal with hot surfaces. So um, I just put it in there and it worked out great. You really don't have to preheat the oven for this paint. And also, uh, it really didn't smell all that bad. Uh, when it was running in the oven, it, you could just barely had a hint of the smell why it was curing in there. Okay, guys, right here it is. This is the color right here that I got by Brown Ales. And you can see right here, I got a little discolored right here. But that was my fault because that was some oil uh, where I taped it up and stuff. I had a little spray get back in here, a little mist of uh, paint, and I cleaned that out. And I accidentally got a little oil around the edge, but that's no big deal. It went on and hits on our like concrete. I really like this. Got a really good texture to it. Right here's the barrel. It turned out great. And also right up here is the tube right here. And also all this stuff laying right in here. We're going to be doing a complete makeover on this gun right here. And we've got a lot of parts that we're going to be putting back on. Right up there lays the stock and the corn cob uh, four in that came with the gun. But we're putting all new furniture on it. Uh, front side, we're going the full nine yards of this. So I hope you stay tuned for that too. This is Chuck with Trackham KY. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe. I hope you join us right here. Join us over on Facebook at Trackham KY. We're going to be uh, doing a complete makeover on this Mossberg here. And I hope you join us. And we will see you, that's right, in the next one.